So welcome back drifters. Today we're going to be working on the W. And uh, if you guys couldn't tell in the last video, it's kind of loud and obnoxious right now because, well, we're missing a muffler. And so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be putting on some exhaust. I'll show you a clip of what it looks like and what it sounds like now. Yeah, it's a little obnoxious compared to what we're going to be doing, which is going to be installing this Borla muffler. Now, this isn't a very... Uh, <laughs> complicated thing it's just literally getting it to fit on there they're both two and a half but one of the tools i need to use is a pipe expander essentially we need to basically make it big enough to where we can slip this in there problem is we're welding with stainless steel and regular steel so it's kind of not ideal but we're just going to make it work as best that we can hopefully it sounds better than it does now and it'll sound better when we're done but yeah, we'll just have to see how it goes. So uh, I guess without further ado, let's get into it. So this tool here is the pipe expander and the way that it works is essentially as you screw this thing in, it's gonna spread open and make it to where it'll help expand it. We really just need enough to where we can slip this right inside. That way the steel is over this and we can weld right on top. So it looks like my pipe expander tool came with a uh, damaged piece already. I haven't even used this thing yet and it's already cracked. So, <laughs> No guarantees that this thing's even gonna work, but for $30, what do you expect? So the first thing I'm gonna do is get this thing started. That way we can heat up those pipes. It'll spread a little bit easier if it's nice and warm. There she goes. All right, well, while this thing's warming up, I'm gonna jack it up, get it up on jack stands, so that way we can get a better look at what we're doing under there. Also, I'm a little too big to do it with it just sitting on the ground, so let's get to it. It's gonna take a little bit for this thing to heat up, but uh, we need it to be hot, that way it's a little bit more pliable when it comes time to actually welding this thing. So I may even break out the blowtorch just to make sure we can stretch it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to swap these tires out before I go get this thing inspected, because that definitely won't pass. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this thing in the pipe. It's nice and hot right now. Once we get it in there about where we want, we're just gonna turn this to start expanding. And then before I go all the way, what I'm gonna do so I'm going to heat up the edge of this thing with a blowtorch. Alright, here we go. Okay. So now we'll see if we can get this without the tool breaking, which is highly unlikely, but we'll try anyway. I think that's probably enough. Okay, let's loosen it up and see if we can get the muffler inside there. Well, it did look like it did something. Uh, not quite. Not quite there yet. So I'm running into an issue where I can't seem to get the steel to expand enough. So I may try this thing on a stainless steel, but it's not really meant to. Because stainless steel has a tendency to crack, so it's possible that it might crack. But uh, we're just going to try it anyway and see what happens. Let's start by heating this sucker up. the heat on that let's uh put the tool in and see if we can get this thing to spread even just a little bit even if it's just a just a little bit that'll be better than nothing ow that is hot please don't crack baby okay well we'll see if that did anything oh there we go wow god damn it there goes my glasses Ah, hate when that happens. All right, let's see if it fits. Is it gonna fit? Uh, you know what's funny? If I hadn't expanded the steel, this thing might have fit. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Ugh, I think I need to spread it just a little more. Well, I guess the nice part about doing it to the muffler is I can do it in here. I'm using one of my old welding gloves to keep it in here because, uh, it's already kind of screwed up and I got a new set but I just need something to hold this thing so it's not turning on me but this would be a lot easier than doing it under the car because that was just killing me <laughs> uh, there we go that should hold hopefully now we'll get a better idea of what's going on I mean really if I can get this thing to expand by like an eighth of an inch we should be good to go I'm just worried about it cracking otherwise we'll just do a butt to butt weld it's just a lot harder when you're doing it by yourself if I get this thing to slip over, then I don't have to worry about positioning. I can get it perfectly. 
so I would rather have this thing fit on there good than having to do a butt to butt weld because those are so, such a pain to do and I'm not the best at welding. I'm mainly heating this thing up just so that way we don't have to worry about this thing splitting as much. It's still a possibility but by heating it up it's going to make the metal more pliable and hopefully we won't, we won't have to apply as much force to get it to move but we will see. Ah, that is hot. There we go. All right, perfect. All right, let's see what we can do. Come on, baby. Hang in there. That's kind of tricky. There we go. Oh, you know what? I think we might have just stripped the tool. It just got real loose. Yeah, I think we just stripped the tool. Yeah, I think this tool is useless. Yeah, the tool's broken. I think the nut stripped. Cause it's not turning anymore, it's just spinning. Let's take this thing apart and see what's inside. So I'm pretty sure it's just the nut that's stripped on this thing. Pretty sure. Yeah, you can see the metal. Metal inside there. Little threads. So this nut just stripped right out, so I'm gonna have to find another nut. So unfortunately, this is what happens when you buy the cheapest thing on Amazon. Uh, they don't last very well. They're all made from China. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this uh, this thing here. I'm gonna go to the store and see if I can find a better nut, something that's maybe a little bit stronger. And then hopefully we'll be able to do this. If not, I am just gonna have to do the butt-to-butt -butt weld. But I'm gonna have to get some help because that's really hard to do alone. So we'll see. But I'm gonna go get this nut. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just got back from walking all over the place trying to find these bolts. Turns out it's an M14 by 1.5, so it's a finer thread pitch. But my god, I went everywhere, I couldn't find anything. I come home, and I find this one bolt that's off of the BMW, and uh, not sure exactly where it's from. It's normally a nylon lock, lock, lock washer, lock washer, and uh, all I did was I melted the nylon with the torch, and now it's working. So... I'm gonna hook this thing back together and we're gonna see if we can actually get this thing to spread without breaking. So, let's give it another shot. All right, let's see if we can turn this sucker. All right, oh, we got some movement, that's good. Oh, there we go. We're getting some movement, that's good. The issue is I can't keep this thing steady enough to get the force on it I need. <sighs> Come on. There you go, baby. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna let that chill. All right, let's get this thing undone. And then we'll take a look. Oh man, that thing is fucking in there. This is what I get for being cheap and not wanting to pay somebody else to do this. Sometimes I really should just spend the money, but I just, I've got the tools, so I may as well do it, you know? At least that's my mindset. Maybe it's a bad one, I don't know. Whew, all right, well. Melted a little bit of the rubber, but it's still in one piece. Having a better nut on there definitely made a difference. Oh, crap. So I was going to give it a little bit more, and uh, looks like one of these pieces broke. This tool has got to be one of the crappiest tools I've ever used. I'm totally returning this thing and never getting another one. Holy crap, that is such shit. Yep, oh wow. Look at that, that thing just snapped in half. I don't know if you can see that, but that thing is literally snapped in half. Watch this. Good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's completely snapped. So talk about a piece of crap tool. Uh, I definitely, I'm gonna be returning this thing to get my money back, because that is insane. Oh well, yes, these things are hot, but they're literally in pieces. That is, that's not okay. <laughs> Uh, well, let's take this thing and go see if we can at least slip it on. If we can't slip it on, then I'm just kind of SOL for today, but uh, let's go try. 
All right, well, let's see if this thing fits on here. Maybe we'll at least get a small victory out of this. And it would appear as though that is a solid no. <sighs> so that sucks, but it is what it is. So I've been using some jack stands and uh, I think they might just do the trick. I might actually be able to do this by myself. Uh, does that look pretty good? Yeah, we might give this a shot. All right, so I'm gonna go under there, grind it all out, and then we'll get ready to shoot some welds. We gotta do it pretty quick though, we're running out of daylight. <laughs> That should do her. One thing I love are these lights. They're super bright and I could put them anywhere because they're magnetized. So they're pretty sick. There we go. That should help me see a little bit better. All right, so I got this thing set up here as good as I can. If you're from back here, you can see, looks pretty even, pretty level. And uh, I should be able to shoot some welds on that. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. You can see from the side too, it's pretty well hidden. I mean, it's gonna sit down just a little bit but I wanted to make it to where if I ever want to run a tip, I can run a tip without it hitting that plastic. I mean, you can see it's already melted, but I think that's a pretty good height where it's at right there. Oh, this is so much fun doing it like this. Whew. So I took the wheel out because I needed more access and now I got direct access right to where I need to weld. So. Fortunately, it's getting a little dark, so it's gonna be hard to see, but I'm just gonna knock this out. Missed the mark a little bit, but we're good. All right, cool. We'll just let that cool off a bit. All right, I finally got this thing up here, and now it should be, yep completely on its own. So I've got it welded in pretty nicely. All we gotta do is go turn it on, see how it sounds, make sure there's no leaks. If there are, I'll just plug those little holes and uh, yeah, should be doing pretty good. So you can see up there, I got it welded to that joint. So that thing's bolted up there so we can easily take it down if we need to. And we've got it all welded up there. I know it's Booger welds, but uh, it'll do the trick. Got my music in, it's a little loud. Okay, so first start. See how it sounds with the new exhaust. Hopefully we don't have anything funky. Ooh, it's nice and mellow. Oh. It got rid of the nastiness. Oh, let's go see what it sounds like outside. It's very mellow. It quieted up quite a bit, which is exactly what we want for the muffler to do. Sounds really good. I'm gonna go check to make sure we don't have any leaks. So you would think that after touching a million hot things in one video that I would learn my lesson, but uh, nope. Okay, I got a little pinhole leak here. But other than that, it all feels good. Whew. That is much more manageable. All right, I got it all zipped up. I'm not feeling any more leaks. It sounds really good, but you can probably tell there's a big storm coming in, so I need to hurry up and finish this up real quick. So I have never taken off tires and put on tires and gotten all that stuff up here as quick as I did today. It is getting ready to be a really bad storm, but I need to go take this thing for a drive. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see me, but I want you to be able to at least hear the car while it's going down the road. If it's too bad, I'll just finish this tomorrow, but let's go, let's go test it out. All right, let's see if you can at least hear this thing. I wanna give you an example of what it sounds like. All right, so I'm driving it right now, and uh, so far, it sounds really good. It's a lot quieter than it used to be. It's not droning. Right now, I'm sitting right at the 2500 mark, where normally, it is just extremely droning. Like, watch, right here's where it normally sounds nasty. But it sounds fine. I don't hear anything weird. It sounds smooth. It drives real good. Now with the coils and this muffler, it actually sounds like a decent a decent vehicle. Like I could actually daily this now. It's actually literally now the ultimate daily drifter. Boy, this thing is awesome. I got one guy tailing me though, so I better uh, cut the light real quick. And this is like with the window 
windows up. Like, this is actually respectable to drive now. This actually feels decent. Like, it doesn't feel bad at all. So I gotta tell you that earlier today, I did not think that I was gonna be able to finish this thing today. I thought I was gonna have to be one of those things where I'd give up because uh, I've been having a rough couple weeks. And, um, yeah, there was just something today. I was like, you know what? No matter what, I need to get this thing done and I need to finish this build. And we pushed through it. We had all the problems in the world. We had all the reasons in the world to quit, but we didn't. And it felt really good to actually get this thing done, even though now it's storming and raining, it's gonna be bad, but man, this goes to show you, tenacity is just one of those things that you just can't replace. Grinding through things that are hard, those things are the most rewarding things when you're done with them. Because I can tell you, now I got a nice car, I can drive this thing daily, because I'll tell you what, my truck's been acting up and this thing may end up having to take over. And I wouldn't have been able to do it if I hadn't put in that work. Well, I guess that's pretty much everything that we got to do on this baby. <sighs> Feels really good to have accomplished that. I really wasn't sure that I was going to get that done, but we did. It sounds amazing. Yeah, man, it, it is. It, it is. It is nice being able to work on the W again. I miss this car. I forget just how good it is. And now I'm actually going to be able to drive this thing and not have to worry about it breaking down on me. I mean, basically everything in this car is pretty much new. Everything works. It's been a great car for me. I'm very happy with it. And yeah, now we just get to enjoy it. Hopefully soon we get to go drifting, but you know, we're gonna have to get some tickets to one of those, hopefully soon, maybe in May, we'll see. But anyway guys, I hope that if, you're, uh, if your day's not going well, I hope that it does get better for you. If it is going well, I hope it gets even better. And I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. And just remember, keep it nice and easy. Well, that's not great. <laughs> Guess that we just beat the storm. Hopefully this thing doesn't actually show up though. Oh boy. <laughs>